Welcome to your Spartan News Update for Thursday, October 3rd, 2019. I'm Chade Moore. And I'm Connie Rabani. We start today with some breaking news in Lansing. Three people died and three people are injured this morning in a small plane crash just west of the Capital Regional International Airport this morning, a little over two hours ago. No flights have been affected and the airport and runaway are still open. A jury has found former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger guilty of murder. Geiger was sentenced to 10 years in prison after shooting and killing 26-year-old Botham Jean in his own apartment last year. Geiger said in court that she thought she was going into her own apartment, but she was on the wrong floor. She shot and killed John. In something never seen in a courtroom, John's younger brother Brant asked to hug Geiger during her sentencing. I, see, I, I personally want the best for you. And I, I wasn't going to ever say this in front of my family or anyone, but I don't even want you to go to jail. Bernie Sanders is stepping away from his presidential campaign until further notice. One of the leading Democratic candidates is recovering from a heart procedure after blockage was found in his artery. On Twitter, Sanders informs his supporters that he is doing well. Although there is no set date for his return, he is expected to be on the stage for the Democratic presidential primary debate in a couple weeks. New housing is available in East Lansing, but this time it's not for college students. The Newman Lofts offers both housing and retail for members of the community that are ages 55 and up. The Lofts hosted their grand opening event on September 28th, but Movement officially became available on October 1st. To get into, within a, a college town such as East Lansing, you know, a lot of people are familiar with having to get to a certain age to get into Harper's or get into uh, Rick's and so forth. With Newman Lofts, you have to get to a point where you're 55 to be able to, to live in the residence. Newman Lofts is designed for active adults seeking a balance between work, living, socializing, and entertainment. This will be East Lansing's first senior living complex. Michigan's own Orchestra Hall is celebrating its 100th birthday. The building houses the Detroit Symphony Orchestra and is known as one of the few acoustically perfect buildings in the world. Across the century, it has hosted musical legends Ella Fitzgerald, Long Long, and Yo-Yo Ma. To celebrate the historic milestone, the DSO will recreate the first concert ever played there this weekend. That's our show, and thanks for tuning in. You can find us on MSU Channel 18.1 and online at SpartanNewsroom.com.